He's all worried. <laughs> <laughs> He's panicking. <laughs> no, I'm not being interested. Wow. You're interested? No, I trust it. Oh. <laughs> so you know, I see kind of the difference. This is softening mm -hmm. versus this side that's deeper. That's crazy. I am doing okay, <laughs> <Good>. yes. <laughs> I was preparing for the worst. So yeah. I feel like, it's, it's not yeah, that bad, yeah? No. You can see already what we created is this nice angle. I'm very excited yeah. to see this. This is coming <laughs> this way and then here. So we went from having kind of two jaw lines to mm -hmm. this one yeah. nice one and we built this out. And it's not bowing out out to here, mm -hmm. it's just enough to create that nice contour so you have a strong defined jaw line out this way. Okay, a little puffy, <laughs> but that's going to work its way down. It's cool to see how the thing out there. Quickly, you can take this. I know, it's like immediate, yeah. I wasn't expecting that. And not as sensitive as the lips, right? Not too bad. No, not at all. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, America. Good morning. Today, Dylan is driving me to... Today, Dylan is driving me to gown plastic surgery. <laughs> this is so heavy. I don't know if I can hold this. I'll just hold it like this. I like my left side more, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Basically, Dr. Gown set up a like a schedule or like a program, like a pre-wedding, like getting ready for the wedding, like every month until the wedding, I just have like little touch-ups and little things. I feel like I'm not explaining that very well. A few months before the wedding, I go in once a month and he does certain things. So the last time I got a little bit of Botox, just like on my bunny lines, my crow's feet, and like in between my eyebrows. Also, by the way, no one needs any Botox or filler or anything. Today I'm getting filler, which I'm very, very nervous about because I've only gotten filler in my lips and it really hurts. Botox just feels like a little pinch. Like Botox does not hurt. Filler really hurts, so in my opinion. I'm gonna have Dr. Gown explain what I'm getting. My friend Claire, one of her best friends, Kristen, who I got to know like during, cause she was a bridesmaid of Claire, so bachelorette bridal shower like all the events we got to know each other and then she reached out to me kristen's one who set this up which was super nice and i was really really excited i was like jumping up and up this office is in corona del mar i am like <laughs> pinned against the window it's horrible. this is one of the things that i have been most looking forward to as far as especially with the wedding coming up and those types of photos. This is one thing where I will say it's been like, not an insecurity, but something where I'm like, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Should be good. <laughs> Should be good. I think what? what you're trying to say is you've always been content with, you know, your physical appearance because you don't place all your self-worth in it. Yeah, bottom line, no one needs anything to alter their body, such as filler or Botox. However, I am just looking at it like I'm enhancing my natural beauty. To the salon! It's not that I don't care what I look like because obviously I don't want to look bad. I want to look good. It's just I don't want to look like someone else. Like I want to look like myself. Down. Second floor. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna look a little bit crazy when I first put it on. It's like white, but it turns to clear, so. 
You look a little bit crazy for a few minutes. Have you ever gotten filler in your face? Yes, I've done my chin. Okay, you have gotten your chin. Yes, okay. I've done my chin. The chin okay. honestly doesn't hurt. Really? Okay. Yeah, and have, you've done your lips before, right? I've done lips. There's yeah. nothing hurts worse than lips. Anywhere really? on the face is way less painful than okay, lips, I promise. Cool. Yeah. I um when I did I've done chin and cheeks and I did it numb. And wow. it does hurt. Like in, in the chin you can sometimes kind of hear it going in, which is oh. kind of weird. Okay. So yeah, just be aware of that. <laughs> Yeah, you can kind of, it kind of sounds like crunchy. I don't know, it's a really weird Ooh, okay. sound and feeling, but it's not too painful. And then like I said, this, the lidocaine's mixed into the okay. syringe too, so once he does the first couple of pokes, you'll just feel kind of okay. numb. Good to know. I'm nervous. Ho, ho, ho. I know you're nervous, so I want to take I the edge off here. <laughs> so you have a nice, young, full face. The mm -hmm. idea is we don't want to overfill it because overfilling is going to make you look more aged and more artificial. So we just want to try to enhance a couple areas very modestly yes. because while a little of filler does a lot of good, a lot of filler does a lot of no good. <laughs> okay? And so the smile lines are the lines that come from here to here. Mm -hmm. And for you, we want to focus on just filling this little triangle in here. If we try to fill this line here, it's gonna make you look heavier and create oh. a heavier cheek like mm -hmm. this. That's what happens when you get older when these ligaments mm. loose and the tissue falls. So we wanna mm -hmm. avoid this area here mm -hmm. and just concentrate on filling this, which is a natural little area where we tend to lose a little volume as we age. Okay. And the idea is not to make it flat because making it flat, putting too much filler, gives you what's called a simian look. It's mm -hmm. called monkey-like. If you look at monkeys, they have kind of flat oh. face right through this area. Mm -hmm. So we still want to have a little curve. We just want to make it less deep because yeah. when you're shooting film or on camera, the yes. lights are coming from the top. Yes. And we create a little <laughs> shadow right here. Mm -hmm. So we're just taking the edge off the deeper shadow. And it's, it's akin to having kind of dark spots in the eyes fade a little bit with nice makeup or, or something like that. So those Perfect. are the two areas for filler that we're going to do for that part of the face. I'm drawing this out, but we're not filling this line. We're just hitting this triangle here to get a little more volume so you have a smoother transition from that cheek to that upper lip area. Perfect. Okay. The second place we had talked about was a little into the jawline. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. So the smoke and mirrors approach without pulling things and putting threads in and lifting faces is to add a little more volume to this area here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a finger here and feel that bone. Okay, mm -hmm. that's the edge of your mandible. The corner is right there, so I'm marking the edge right there. If we add a little filler to this area, that builds that up, and we'll actually tug this up just a little bit and give more of a lengthy jawline. So right now, if you have a little more fullness here, you can count one jawline, two jawline. We want to try to fill that zone so we can have one single transition point. Perfect. So a little bit to this area, and again, a little bit. We don't want to do too much because you have some fullness here. We don't want to then fill you out this way wide in the face. <laughs> yeah. okay. And the third one was kind of a maybe for you if you wanted to do a little bit into the chin, just to have a little bit more length in this direction. If we're looking at measuring the face, we want to try to make those magic one-thirds. One-third here, one-third here, one-third here. And this is a little bit short, not to say there's anything wrong with that, but yeah. adding a little bit of volume to the actual chin just to bring it out just a bit would be another area where mm -hmm. someone with your facial structure may benefit from. Mm -hmm. So those are the three options that I'll give you. You can say I want option A, I want option A and B, I want option A, B, and C, or mm -hmm. none of it. That's entirely up to you. Yeah. <laughs> I want all of it. All the above. <laughs> I mean, I still, you know, want to look like myself. Yeah, we're not going to change this. So if, if I were to take, you know, six boxes and start showing your face, <laughs> you would look artificial. You'd look almost yeah. puppet-like. Yes. I'm just going to do maybe three syringes at most. Okay. And I may stop short of that just based on how things are going as I'm injecting okay. it, how much volume it takes to kind of soften that up. Okay. You will get some swelling from the injection itself. Mm -hmm. And you'll also get some extra volume because the fillers are mixed with lidocaine, which is a numbing solution. Yes. So it's going to appear more than what it's going to be when things settle okay. down in a couple of days. <laughs> okay. okay, good to know. We're going to give you a little bit of ice just to put over the area right before I inject it, and that's just helping on top of putting the numbing cream over it. You'll still feel the needle. Okay. okay? Especially the first pass until I get a little bit in mm -hmm. to squeeze some of the lidocaine in as well. Uh -huh. Then I'll back off, we'll wait, let the lidocaine percolate, make it comfortable, and then do the touch-ups to fill okay. to the final levels. Perfect. Okay?
Perfect. Right. We're going to use some thicker fillers on you for the chin. Mm -hmm. We're going to inject deep onto the bone to bring that out. Mm -hmm. And along the jawline here, mm -hmm. here we're going to use something a lot softer. Because we basically want to float it, we don't want anything hard. So when you smile, you don't have any blocky <laughs> to it. So things still stretch and are natural. So it's going to be two okay. different fillers that we're using today. Perfect. So we were hearing that the pain is a lot less than lip fillers. Yeah, the lips are very sensitive because they have a, a very close distribution of nerve endings. Mm -hmm. Things like fingertips, lips, nose, that's why they're more sensitive. Okay. These areas have less of the concentration of nerve endings, so it's much better tolerated. So it's not something that people are white knuckling over or rejecting. Okay. okay. Yeah, she's very <laughs> nervous. And most, most of the time, bigger areas and deeper areas, you can go down and inject more of a, a lump and a bolus, whereas lips, you've got to inject several times just yes. to go over the delicate details, so it's multiple little pokes, and that's why people mm. are yeah. jumpy about it. That makes sense. you go. You're going to have your ice back if you need to. I would say icing on the chin helps because that might be more sensitive. If you don't feel anything, then you don't need to mm -hmm. do it. And then I'm going to give you a little god in case you need a dab, a little dot of a bleeder here and Thank there for the so next much. 15 minutes, and then I will stop. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Right. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. <laughs> Hopefully that was an easy experience. That yes. was very easy. Yeah. I don't know. I was expecting. I thought I was going to be like crying. Like crying and yeah, and yeah. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> not today. Not today. Thank All right. You so much, You're very welcome. So I'll follow up with you in a little bit. Give us a call in a couple of days. Okay. Let us know how everything's settling in. If Perfect. you need any adjustments, you say, I like it, but maybe I want more or Perfect. this is a little too much. We can always adjust things. Perfect. Okay. Thank you so Thanks. much. Nice to Hi, meet you. Nice to meet you. We'll meet you at the front one whenever you're ready. Awesome. Time, okay? Thank you. Okay. Well, what do you think? Yeah, it was cool to watch. I mean, it was so quick. Yeah, right? You can, like, actually see it, everything. Mm -hmm. I could hear it going in. That yeah. was weird, yeah. My overall thoughts are, I was expecting it to be so bad. I thought I was going to be, like, crying, and, like, I literally thought I was going to be terrible. But my lips hurt 20 times more. Do you remember my lips? I was, like, tearing up and, like... Lips hurt really bad. This was like nothing. I'm excited to see it in a couple days when the swelling goes down, no bruising, that sort of thing. And thank you for filming. Thank you for coming with me. That was very sweet of you. You're welcome. This is Kristen. I came to see Quincy. <laughs> 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 she came to see this. <laughs> Could have missed it.